Hello everyone, my name is Confidence and it's great to have you here. In this video, we're going to take a look at the tree select widget and I'm going to show you some of its options and ways in which you can configure it. So for us to get started, I'm going to head over to the widget section and let's bring in a new um, tree select widget. So I'm just going to bring this into the canvas. And here we have a tree select widget showing up in the canvas. Uh, this is really similar to the radio group widget. The only difference is now you have the ability to nest options uh, within other options in the widget. So taking a look at this, we have the blue option and uh, clicking on the drop down, you see that we have two different variants of blue nested within the blue option. So we have the power to do some nesting using the um, single tree select. And this can be accomplished by passing an array of children into the option we want to have nested data. So right here, I'm um, taking a look at the evaluated value pane. We have the blue option and the blue option has a key of children. That's an array and it has the dark blue and also the light blue. And uh, you can see the data representation um, in the options array passed to this widget right here. So moving on, we also have the default value and this is the value that will be selected by default whenever uh, the widget is rendered so we can set this to something like red and taking a look at this we have red selected by default uh, we also have the label text and this will be the text value of the label we have up top so we can update this to something like colors and we have colors train up and that will serve as the label for the single select tree we also have the ability to set a placeholder text, and this will be the text that shows up on the widget um, whenever no selection is made. So let's update this to something like select a color, and uh, we need to get rid of the default value. So taking a look at this, you see that we have um, the placeholder showing up, which is guiding the user on what to do to select the color. And we can go in uh, to select a color, and that color gets shown on the widget. We can also configure the visibility of the um, single select tree uh, by turning on the switch on or off. We can control the vis uh, disabled state by um, setting this to be on or off. Same also goes for the required state. The required state is designed to be used with a form widget. Uh, we have a form widget right here. And when this is turned on and used inside of a form widget, it is going to disable form submission until the user actually goes in to select something using this widget. We can also enable a feature that allows user to clear selections. So turning this on and heading back to the select widget, you see now that we have a little um, cross icon and clicking on this would clear all selections that have been made using this widget. And similarly, we also have the option to um, expand all by default. And when this is selected, and we have all nested data expanded and user can see everything um, at a single glance. For styling, we have the option to set a color for the label. So we can set this to something like green and we have a green label showing up on the widget. We can also select um, a size for the label text and we can uh, set this to something like heading three and we have a bigger label text size. And we also have options to control uh, the font style for the label text. For actions, we have the option to perform an action whenever the selected option changes. So if the user goes in to select something like green, uh, whatever action we specify here in the um, on option change action would get executed. So for the actions, we can choose to run any of these predefined actions, or we can go into the JavaScript mode and write some complicated action we want to be executed whenever this event occurs. At this point, I'd like to show you some of the properties of the single tree select widget. And to do this, I'll need to bring in a text widget. So I'm just going to bring in a text widget. And here we have a text widget. For the text property, I'm going to access the single tree select. So this will be single select tree. And taking a look at the evaluated value, you see that we have a lot of options showing up. But one property you'll be particularly interested in is the selected option value. And here we'll have access to the option that has been selected from the single select tree. So going in to select something like dark blue, you can see that uh, the selected option is displayed within the text widget. All right. 
So this has been the single tree select. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, leave a like, get subscribed, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.